the greatest assembly of them all. Once a year, Stranger Danger. Yeah! The hottest ticket in town. The Bruno Mars of assemblies. You are gathered together as a school, and you are told never to talk to an adult that you don't know. And you are told this by an adult that you don't know. We had the same Stranger Danger speaker every year when I was a kid. His name was Detective J.J. Bittenbinder. Go ahead and laugh. His name is ridiculous. That was his name. It was J.J. Bittenbinder. He was from the Chicago Police Department. He was a child homicide expert. And... Oh, gee. Oh, very sorry, Radio City. Did that make you uncomfortable? Well, guess what? You're adults, and he's not even here. So try being seven years old, and you're sitting five feet away from him. He's still got blood on his shoes. And he's looking at you in the eye to tell you for the first time in your very young life that some adults find you incredibly attractive. And they may just have to kill you over it. Okay, c'est la vie, go be kids, go have fun. Bittenbinder came every year. By the way, Detective J.J. Bittenbinder wore three-piece suits. He also wore a pocket watch. Two years in a row, he wore a cowboy hat. He also had a huge handlebar mustache. None of that matters, but it's important to me that you know that. He did not look like his job description. He looked like he should be the conductor on a locomotive powered by confetti, but instead he made his living in murder. He was the weirdest goddamn person I ever saw in my entire life. He was a man most acquainted with misery. He could look at a child and guess the price of their coffin. That line never gets a laugh, but once you write it, it stays in the act forever. So Bittenbinder came every year with a program to teach us about the violent world waiting for us outside the school gym. And that program was called Street Smarts! Time for Street Smarts with Detective J.J. Bittenbinder. Shut up, you're all gonna die! Street Smarts! That was the general tone. He would give us tips to deal with crime. I will share some of the tips with you this evening. Okay, tip number one, street smarts! Let's say a guy pulls a knife on you to mug you, because you remember the scourge of muggings when you were in second and third grade? You know how a mugger thinks, man, I need cash for drugs right now. Hey, maybe that eight-year-old with the goddamn Aladdin wallet that only has blank photo laminate pages in it will be able to help. Let's say a guy pulls a knife on you to mug you. What do you do? You go fumbling for your wallet, and you go fumbling for your wallet. Well, in that split second, that's when he's gonna stab you. So here's what you do. You kids get yourselves a money clip, okay? You can get these at any haberdashery. You put a $50 bill in the money clip. Then, when a guy flashes a blade, you go, you want my money? Go get it, then you run the other direction. <laughs>